Yes, look who we have, Tlalamba and the two little ones. Can you believe it? Yeah, on Philemon's cut line, heading south towards Philemon Dip. Fortunately, there is another vehicle in the sighting at the moment. So let's, uh, uh, we're just going to try and give them a little bit of space. Because I don't want to have too many vehicles moving at the same time around those little cubs. But, whoop, I'm so happy to get to see her with the little ones. Absolutely amazing. So she was at quarantine south, so exactly where those impalas were this morning running like that. She was just south of that, that area, close to the bush bry. So, yeah. I'm going to see if we can get around here. Yeah. Oh, little dawn, little cub here. Yeah. I'm going to stop slowly here. Yeah. Of course, they're going to come up there. Little cubs are going to come right out there. Hello. Beautiful female. She's doing so well. She's absolutely doing so well. I wonder if... If she wasn't quarantine south, I wonder if she wasn't the one that actually made that uh, impala kill. It's difficult to say, but once again, because it's, everything was in close proximity of where that impala was. So let's wait. Quickly see, there's the other one coming out. The other one is going to say, it's okay. So what we're going to try and do, I'm going to try and go around and see if we can maybe uh, make a bit of a, a wider berth around where Tlalamba and the two cubs are and we can get a beautiful walk by. It shines but like this water um, off cuts. Of course the little male on the right hand side and the female on the left. So you can really see the two differences between the male and the female just by the, and the size of the head like the little female there. A much smaller head compared to the male. And there's the little boy absolutely just staring at us here. And he's just wondering, who are you? Absolutely really, really precious little things. So fortunate to see these leopard and their cubs at the... And, you know, just to witness their, their lives and to share it with us. And of course, you know, Tlalamba is lying to the right of them. <laughs> good morning. Thank you so much. Yes, it's definitely, definitely all happening for me this morning. Um, I can barely actually even put my foot on the, on the brake and the clutch this morning because I'm in awe with all this amazing sightings that we're having again this morning. And especially now this has to definitely top one of them again with the little two cubs and of the lumber. So yeah, everything in a matter of not even a further than a kilometer radius. I'll say about maybe, okay, say about a kilometer radius with the hyenas and the kill, the lumber and the cubs, um, the lion tracks coming in towards quarantine area. So yes, no, definitely it's a, it's been a special morning. But just, I said, just perfect. I know that, uh, I mean, I've seen Karula and I've seen Tandi use these, um, we call them Marty drains. Marty means water drains. So it's like these kind of offcuts from the road itself to really um, divert the water away from the roads itself so it doesn't cause erosion and, and ruts and all that. And I've seen Tandi and Karula using these offcuts many, many a time as a, a nice area to lie down in because it's very soft sand because it's been graded. So the sand is nice and soft and, and it's just a nice and cool, especially here uh, with uh, close to a nice, uh, one of the combretums that she's lying next to. <laughs> Nadia, good morning. Yes, that is a very, uh, the, well, the sun that you are hearing is uh, a bird. It is the crested Franklin. So that Chris of Franklin's uh, busy alarm calling. So it's telling anything else around you at the moment that there is uh, a predator there or not, or there is danger. Let it be a snake, let it be a leopard, whatever predator there is around, it is letting any, everything else know. So watch out, there is danger around you. But of course those two little cute faces, I don't think that's any danger. They are just too adorable. They are just too adorable. That was so sweet. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. But sometimes you'll find when the birds or squirrels start alarm calling like this, you'll actually find that the leopards do get a little bit irritated because they, uh, you know, their location has been kind of uh, been compromised, 
and um, and it does irritate them a bit and might actually attract something that they don't want here. So sometimes you'll find leopards will start moving again when they start hearing too many alarm calls happening. But I see that the, the birdie is starting to settle down a little bit. Thank you. No, don't start again. And that Lulumba is definitely, she's, she's in sleep mode. Jasmine, good morning. Uh, do cubs pick up their parents like traits? Um, I think uh, some do. I've seen it before. I mean, there's, there has been certain, um, well, put it this way. My experience with now the lineage of, that everybody knows is Karula, um, because I know that lineage very well. So now if I look at Karula, I look at um, Shadow and Tandy, um, they pick that typical, um, I can say, uh, grumpy lady um, mannerism up. And, I mean, Tandy became just like Karula with certain certain ways. And I did not see it with other uh, leopard, or female leopards like uh, Moya and Mbilu, Ntima, Kwatile, um, white cloth, all those other female leopards never had that kind of trait like we I saw with Tandy and Karula. But now on top of that, with Lalamba, I haven't seen that trait as well where, where she's taking it from Tandy. So it does happen sometimes, but I don't think it's a, it's a common occurrence uh, where they'll pick up or, or take, the, take that trait from the mother itself. Um, Oyster kills. Okay, Oyster kills. I've seen females. I think Salahesha. See, Salahesha used to always hoist kills. She was very good with hoisting kills. It's one of the females. That's Tiani's um, mother. Of course, she's no more with us. And I know Salahesha used to hoist her kills very well. And now in Sele, the one female that's got the one eye, she does. She hoists her kills also very well. Uh, many, many times. Very good trade to have because hoisting your kills pretty much uh, more often than not will actually give you a better chance of survival and keeping your cubs going and all that because that is too sweet now eh? really a close bond between cubs and mom. It's always just so precious just seeing them grooming each other like this. It's just that bond is so amazing. And we're really, really close for now until I get, of course, over, over a year, year and a half old. And then things start changing a little bit more, become more independent. Elizabeth, good morning. Yes, it is difficult not to love them. I think it's uh, 
It is really special. It is special just looking how, they are, how much a cub is loving that grooming from mom. Absolutely amazing. Uh, standing by. Frederick, uh, sorry, mate. Can I rejoin you as having worked off of your lock, please? Uh, still on Philemon's cut line, just uh, north of Ingwe Alley. Okay, yeah, boy, they're just uh, in a Marty drain at the moment. Uh, static. All right, cool. Okay, I'll see you now. Thank you. Sorry about that. Just had to make sure that everybody knows what's happening with these leopards. I don't know if anybody can hear that other bird in the background that <laughs> orange breasted bush like coffee tea on me. And of course, yeah, and of course the Franklin is just not happy with these leopards being around here. I'm sure she's going to move. Uh... Yes, welcome back. Still sitting with her Tlalamba. She did move now. I think the whole reason for that is um, those crested Franklins alarm calling. As I said, sometimes you'll find that the leopards, as soon as... Uh, like Franklins or squirrels do notice and they will tend to rather get out of the area and not uh, put too much attention on them, especially her with her two cubs. Cubs just went into the bush to the left, left of her. I think they might be just playing around there or I'm not too sure. I don't have any visual on them now, but they're just you know, back and forth.